Привіт, Вікторія, як справи? А, у мене тут лайф, як бачиш. Окей. Окей. How do I see? Okay. So today, today I want to review a couple of emails and bring some improvements. Um, if you can let me know if the sound is all right. Oh, I think I need to invert the picture flip camera no 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 i don't need to flip camera mirror your video okay uh, i think that now you can see properly what is written on my whiteboard as far as i can understand you can see it right but nevertheless mm, yeah is it not a good time for life no one's no one's here no one's watching me Hey. Okay. I hate that the my that the lighting is being mirrored here. Um let me try to adjust it the best way I can. Oh no. Okay. What if we do it right here? Um Jesus. Okay. 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 Hey, how are you? I'm just setting up my equipment over here. Thanks for joining. Check out the the quality of the video, Red, let me know if it, it's decent enough. Czy jakieś video zachali normalne? Oj, jakże coś chcę zrobić tak? Ma być aż tak jakoś? Ma być aż tak jakoś? Aż tak ono jakoś bude. Hello, przywit Anatoliewna. Як у вас справи? Сьогодні не дуже гарний ранок. Маючи на увазі, що трапилося у Херсоні. Привіт, привіт. Hello, how are you? How are you guys? How are you doing? Oh, no, 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 no. You're not now seeing this Lightning Circle. Обуджакому випадку, in any case, 
let's uh, cut to the chase. So I, I asked uh, people to send me some of the uh, emails that they would want me to review for free over here. Um, hey, привет. Цікава історія. От ось так. Коротше, я буду сидіти. А, привіт, Яна. Хай, Яна, how are you? How's your Saturday going? Hopefully you're on the bright side. Trying to stay on the bright side. Окей. Ну давайте ось так воно буде якось. Thanks for joining. I will pretty much just start regardless of the number of people who is watching because otherwise yeah this could take a while um right now i have an interesting sort of um an interesting sentiment that i want to clarify with regard to business english in general and with regard to uh communication over email because this is our topic today i would like to start off by I would like to start off by like giving you uh some kind of a bi- basic understanding of mine about uh, how to communicate uh by email how to make your communication efficient but before that uh well I want I want to draw a line between this a corny phrase business English and with a regular uh, day-to-day English that we use in our communication so uh, I myself I, I'm not a, like I've never learned business English per se because uh, there is no such thing as business English believe it or not it's a made-up term Нема такого терміну, як бізнес-англійська. Він вигаданий маркетологами, розумієте? And uh, marketers coined our, I think, um, yeah, non-native marketers coined this term to be able to lure people, you know, into their schools. And uh, the thing that is now called like a business English pretty much a formal English or and, and there is not no such thing as business English there is only such thing as business etiquette right я така таке поняття як бізнес етикет комунікація яка відповідає професійному професійному етикету комунікація яка відповідає the communication that goes in the line with the uh, with the uh, with the business etiquette right and all your emails probably all of your emails unless you're communicating with a friend although you will you would not communicate with a friend over emails all your emails has have to have like a, a, a certain level of politeness right right and sort of sort of certain level of respect because professionalism still in our day and age is seen f- through the respect f- for one another and also professionalism is seen through the lenses of delivering on the taken obligations uh differently speaking pretty much being responsible uh and uh not uh throw away just words and not not and 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 uh deliver what 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 you on the expectations right and uh yeah from this point forward uh, this is like the way i i approach i approach my email communication and for me for me personally by the way guys 
Uh, thank you for, for to all of you who's joining. Uh, if you if you are not against uh, helping the helping me to kind of grow this thing, you can share it with someone or put give me likes because when you give me likes, uh, more people can see this uh, stream. Okay. If you want to navigate like it, більше людей бачить цей цей стрім. So um, and here are uh, my 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 list. Here is the the um, the group the groups that I have allocated for email communications in general. So the first one, we write an initial email. It could be your uh, marketing pitch, could be your advertisement uh, offer, something that you send to this person or to, to this company, to this brand initially, right? Perse contact, so initial contact. Second one is the follow-up. Before you have established a contact, до того, як ви встановили якийсь контакт з потенційним вашим клієнтом чи партнером, uh, you are doing a follow-up. So a follow-up is basically sending a, re- a repetitive email uh, uh, to, make, to get the, the response. So in email communication, uh, you, we all know the term leads, right? So somewhere, maybe at the conference or maybe uh, somewhere on the website, you have found an email, right? And uh, before the, the second party that you're reaching out ha- has replied to you, uh you it, you can you can you cannot consider this to be your contact it's just a cold lead right however when the second party have replied something it's already a start of your conversation so that's a win for you because you uh was managed you managed to send something interesting in your email which resulted into them replying to you. Тому всі email комунікації, коли ви перший раз контактуєте когось і вам відповіли, that that means that you already have have acquired a little little win, a little victory. Uh, взагалі, in general in sales there uh, the, the worst possible thing that can be that can happen is silence. Uh, the work, uh, sales people they love the d- 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 declines because it's a, it's a clear understandable message no we're not interested uh, go away that's better than people just ignoring your emails when people are ignoring your your emails you engage into sending follow-ups because you think that Hey, why are they reading and not replying? That's kind of disrespectful. Ну, взагалі, коли читають і не відповідають перший, другий, третій раз, треба задуматися, можливо, досить досить навалювати фоллоуапи. And uh, definitely when uh, the commu- the communication has started, when the interaction has started, you want to nurture the relations, right? So you want to cultivate your lead or if you are in ex- in existing relationships with uh, one of your i don't know customers partners so whoever uh y- you have a, a, an email thread or you have several email threads with this person and you uh, w- in your email communication you pretty much cultivate in a professional manner you cultivate your business relationships uh so the more professional you are, the more respectful you are in what you do, the better it is for the overall impression of the of this person, especially when you represent not yourself, when you represent your brand, your company, it is increasingly important to be top notch, right? To be off the charts in terms of your English, in terms of how you how you how you compose your thoughts. Uh, yeah, because you do represent something more than you than just yourself, right? Okay. So that was just a short 
preface statement, statement. Preamble. Була, це була така коротка преамбула. А... А... Я вчора робив формат, коли ми вигадували якісь сценарії, імейл-комунікації, і я писав декілька варіантів того, як можна до цієї комунікації підійти. Uh, so, uh, I will start, first of all, I will start with a couple of scenarios that I, that I have uh, come up with myself. Uh, but after that, you can send me your scenarios, maybe you, in, from your real life experience, from your real career. Uh, uh, and yeah, and we will try to mold a beautifully um, and, and neatly looking uh, Uh, email for you. Okay? Uh, друзі, якщо чесно, у мене є темплейт uh, на сайті взагалі, темплейт uh, для email стартерів. Якщо хочете, можете зайти по моїм ссылкам, там буде безкоштовний uh, ну, ссылка на безкоштовний темплейт, який я розробив, uh, щоб uh, починати та закінчувати email переписку. Так. Як професійний стрімер, мені іноді треба рекламувати щось, що в мене ще є. <laughs> Отже, so, anyway, uh, the first email scenario is, we are an outsourcing company. We are, we are an outsourcing company. For those of you who don't know, outsourcing companies are the ones that that complete software engineering tasks on behalf of clients from majorly United States. So United States, uh, uh, technical, like even not technical people, but just customers, they realize that here in Ukraine, we have uh, high profile developers who can implement their tasks, who can complete their technical assignments on, on a high, high level. Therefore, they outsource, це, це таке слово, вони outsourced, віддають, вони делегують, they delegate the completion of their development tasks to our companies, right? So we are an outsourcing company. We are a representative of, of outsourcing company. For example, we are a prod, project manager. We are a PM. That's a beautiful, gorgeous position. Now, uh, what, so what's the scenario? So our programmer or our developer, that is, that is absolutely positively crucial. He's a necessary part of a couple of projects. So our key developer, for example, right? Let's say our key, by the way, that's, that's the real life scenario. This is the real case that one of my students shared with me. So that, that's not made up. Our key developer, key developer. Um, I'm fine, I'm fine, thank you. How about you? How about you? You doing all right? Um, yeah, so our key developer, our key developer wants to re relocate. That's a real, real scenario that's not made up. Relocate. To the US. So he's been living in, in Ukraine, but now he's got these dreams and Amer he's got an, an American dream and he wants to relocate and, uh, uh, you know, live in, in, the, in the United States. Interesting challenge at hand, right? And, uh, our, and we need to, we need to explain this to, the, to his American clients we need to explain it this to his American clients so that 
they wouldn't mind increasing his salary. Do you understand? Дуже челенджовий кейс, типу, чувак вирішив, він працював програмістом в Україні на з економікою України, і йому зарплатні, яку, яка, яка платила софтверна його аутсорс компанія, клієнт американський, було зовсім супер досить, щоб тут класно жити. Але він захотів переїхати в, в Сполучені Штати і не захотів сильно поступатися рівнем життя, який в нього був. І, і треба написати письмо типу, його клієнтам, Аля, у нас тут такий чувак, якщо ви не хочете його втратити, вам потрібно типу, йому тепер платити ну, по американським стандартам або хоч щось схоже. All right? So we need to persuade, um, persuade or just inform, let's inform for, for start, right? For now. We need to inform his client, his client, about the necessity, about the new salary expectations. New salary expectations. Ось, ось так давайте, так? Нові побажання по зарплатні. Окей. Okay. Um, можливо дати більше світла, ось так? Чомусь світла якось не дуже багато. Чи нормально? Окей, okay, so once again our case, we need to bring the harsh truth, we need to bring the un- unpleasant truth to the American client, uh, who we have been working with for a while as an outsourcing Ukrainian outsourcing company. We need to let him know that his favorite developer wants to Uh, spice it, spice his uh, his spice his life up, right? Wants to bring some new challenges to his life, and he wants to uh, start living in the United States. Uh, as a res- as as a consequence to this, he needs to get paid fairly, right? In accordance with American uh, kind of living standards, right? So. What would we write in our email? Minding that we already know this customer, this is not like his, this is not like uh, we don't have the pre-existing relationships, we, we know him. So we would write something like, dear, dear Adam. Let his name be Adam. I'm actually watching this uh, series now, this show called Wednesday. You know this Wednesday show? Wednesday Adam. Adams. So, dear Adam. Hmm. Okay. Uh, we would, I, would, I would start with something that would shake his, his uh, day right away. I don't want to uh, put it on the shelf. I want to give it to him right away. So we would say something like, there is a drastic change that's happening in our developers team. There is a drastic, drastic, це кардинальне, or abrupt, також, abrupt, це кардинальна зміна. So there is, a, there is a, there, is a drastic drastic or abrupt abrupt change that's taking place in our developer teams in our developer in our that's taking place taking place Добре видно, друзі? Нормально? Um, dear Adam, there is a drastic change that's taking place in our developers dev. Developers, developers team. Mm-hmm. 
team. Okay? Then we will get down to real business. Then we will write what, what, what actually happened without beating around the bush, without, you know, just watering the email for too much. We, we want to get to the essence of the problem almost right away. We, 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 could, we, we could do it from the first sentence, but we decided to warm him up a little bit. We decided to prepare him a little bit. So, dear Adam, there is a drastic change that's taking place in our developer's team. Uh, for example, Pavlo, let's assume that he's, the developer's name is Pavlo. Pavlo is, has decided, yeah, we're, we're letting him know that this is his full responsibility, that, he, that he, it's his full decision and it's in no way influenced by us, right? So when you say that he has decided, it's clear that it, it was fully his decision, okay? Pavlo has decided, and by using past, past perfect tense, has decided, we'll let them know that he has decided it like quite some time ago. Разумеете, коли ми використовуємо не час, Past, past, has decided. Тобто, воно почалось десь у минулому, він там вже задумувався про те, щоб звалити з України, і зараз вже до цього прийшов, розумієте? Has decided to... І тут ми можемо... And, and here we, we can either say to leave Ukraine, to make it more dramatic, or... We can defend Pavlo right away, or we can just uh, lay out the, the just just uh, information of of the of the country where he's going to relocate. Okay, so Pavlo has decided to move move to the United States to move to the United States to the United States to the United States, right? Um, we can say that it's totally, it's, it's entirely his decision as he, it's entirely his decision and we, pl and we want to support him in this, in his, in his, uh, new endeavor or, or in his aspirations. По типу, це є повністю його рішення, і ми хочемо його підтримати у ньому. So, uh, it is fully or entirely entirely his decision, his his decision. Oh shit. Sorry. Is entirely his decision. Друзі, якщо у вас є якісь кейси, подумайте про email кейс, який ми з вами напишемо через один. Після цього буде ще один мій, і після цього можемо якісь з ваших кейсів розібрати. Розкажи про conditions. Друже, я не... Ну, друже мій, я... Ах. У мене буде завтра стрім з жіночкою, яка вона більш фокусується на початковому рівні. Можете її зафоловувати, але я про conditions розповідати не буду. Я, я сам ненавиджу граматику. Я вчив англійську на слух. Я ніколи не вчив граматику, не сидів і не вивчав, як там, що треба казати. Ну, тобто в цьому плані я не, не найкращий вчитель, повірте мені. Я просто дуже багато слухав і розмовляв на англійській. І воно якось запам'ятовується. Павло has decided to move to the United States. It is fully, entirely his decision. And we would like to support him
like to support him him on we can say on and on every single step of this way на кожному шляху цієї цієї подорожі on every on every step of on every step of the of of the way ми хочемо допомогти Павлу на кожному шагу цієї у цій у цьому непростому рішенні можливо не простому чи простому and then we lay out what we actually want from this person um, from this Adam guy uh, it would be it would be our utmost maybe not honor it we know how так можемо сказати що ми знаємо наскільки важливий Павло для вас і тому якщо ви можете подумати про підвищення його зарплатні відповідно до американських американського рівня життя ми будемо вам дуже вдячні Ось таке, ось таке на українській мові, ми зараз напишемо на англійській. Uh, we, we do understand, we do, we do understand we do understand that Pavlo is one of Pavlo is supremely um important asset ми тут Павла називаємо активом, але нічого страшного. <laughs> we do understand that Pavlo is supremely important asset for your business, for your business, for your business. Бачите чи ні? Ой, ой, друзі мої, ось так ось. Чорт забирай. Що за Ось цей кружочок, вони, він мене напрягає. Давайте без нього. Uh, ось так. Uh, we do understand that Pavlo is supremely important asset for your business. And we would like to ask you as follows. And we would like... Would like... Ось ці, ці, ці штуки, їх помічаєте, would like, we would like, ось це все ідентифікація як такого дуже формальної такої супер поважної мови, розумієте? So we do understand Pavlo is supremely asset for your business, and we would like to ask you, like to, to ask you, ask you as follows. As follows, це типу у продовженні цієї думки, розумієте? Текст наоборот? Боже мій, а чому мені ніхто не сказав? А, а так. Зараз разве не... Сейчас видно, ребят? Я ж, я ж вроде бы сделал изначально нормально. Вот сейчас стало хорошо. Okay, just. Um, yeah, so, uh, dear Adam, there is a drastic change, an abrupt change that's taking place in, uh, in our developer team. Pavlo has decided to move to the United States. It is fully or it is entirely his decision. Uh, and we would like to support him on every single step of the way. We do understand that Pavlo is supremely important asset for your business. Ми розуміємо, що Павло супер важливий актив у вашому бізнесі. And we would like to ask you as follows, if you could, if you could, чи могли б ви, от знову супер респектабельний такий підход, and we would like to ask you as follows, if you could, ми можемо написати, Якщо ви можете підвищити йому зарплатню, а можемо написати, чи ви, чи ви зможете 
розцінити, подумати на, 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 цю, на, цю, на, на, цю, на цей на цей предмет. Ми напишемо If you could consider or if you can ponder, знаєте таке слово ponder, типу подумати, поміркувати на цей на, на, ці, на цю на ці, на цей на цей рахунок, цей рахунок. Um, If you can consider or you can you can ponder if you could consider raising his raising his hourly his hourly rate hourly rate Ну а ми знаємо, що у всіх програмістів, у всіх у всіх софтверних девелоперів наші аутсорс компанії здають почасово, right? So basically what we need he, there he, here is to uh, slice a better deal in terms of the hourly hour uh, compensation right so we need to get higher hour compensation and we'll get everything covered from this point forward uh raising his hourly rate his hourly rate um if consumers are going to we we highly appreciate your We highly appreciate, we highly appreciate, appreciate, ми високо цінимо our, our partnership, our partnership. Ну, ось, ось якось так я б, я б написав. Да, хорошо, спасибо, ребят, за фідбек. Uh, ставте лайки там, якщо що. <laughs> so, uh, dear Adam, у нас був який, uh, what, once again, we had the problematic case. We are a software developing outsourcing company based in Ukraine. We have brainy, exceptional developers who, who we sell to our American customers, to American clients. Uh, one of our developers, decided that he's, he's seen enough in Ukraine and he doesn't want to stay here. Maybe he's uh, bothered with the electricity uh, outages or general state of war. He's, he decided, screw it, I want to I wanna move. And since he believes that he's one of the best, one of the best breeds, it's a very significant type, one of the best breeds in his family, Uh, but that he's best of the of the breed he decided he want he wants to move to no other country not to Poland not to Hungary he decided not to Germany he decided that he wants to move to the United States of America and from this point forward uh, but but the most ironic thing here is that he he, he doesn't want to to have the same salary Uh, living in America that he had in Ukraine. So he wants all of the customers that he works with to uh, increase uh, his salary respectively. Так? Він хоче, щоб усі вони підняли йому зарплатню до відповідного рівня життя у Америці. Взагалі, з дуба впав чувак, але це реальний кейс, це реальний кейс одної з моєї студенток. І ми для неї писали подібні імейли. So, Dear Adam, there is a drastic change, the abrupt change that taking place in our developers team. Pavlo, Pavlo has decided to move to the United States of America. It is fully his decision and we would like to support him. And uh, it is fully, fully his decision or we can say, but, but we decided to support him on every single step of the way. Okay? Ми йому його підтримуємо, що цього дивака. Але дивак робить нам касу, і ми не можемо йому не допомагати, розумієте? Ці диваки, які топ, топ-левел виконувачі роботу, програмісти, ми тупо не можемо сказати їм бай. Ми їм, їм будемо допомагати, тому що він робить для нас касу дуже добру. And we say, uh, we, we do understand that Pavlo is a supremely important asset, so we're we involving in manipulation a little bit. Uh, 
uh, Supreme is a supremely important asset for your business. And we would like to ask you as follows. If you would or could consider raising his hourly rate, maybe to uh, coincide or to um, match the, 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 the living standards in America. Разумеете? So this is, the, uh, this is the email that we would write in, this, in such a an, uh, um, weird and bizarre case. Um, yeah. Як що сподобався емейл, ставте лайки. One more time, guys. I have a free template that I have created myself. Є безкоштовний темплейт на моєму сайті, де початкові фрази та завершаючі фрази та фрази для фоллоуапів. Всі її є в одному шаблоні. Можете по лінкам у моїй шапці перейти і його собі скачати. Ну, вам, вам воно буде корисно, ви, 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 якщо через емейл комунікуєте з кимось, чи плануєте. All right. Mm. Moving along, moving along. Скільки я вже в ефірі? Я що, 40 хвилин вже в ефірі? Йолки, палки. If at some point I become tedious, tell me about it. Tedious... Tedious – це таке слово, яке означає скучний, скучний, як дід професор. Мені головне не стати схожим на своїх викладачів в університеті. <laughs> tedious. Teddy, tedious. Скучний дід. Скучний, скучний, монотонний. Головне не бути tedious. Розумієте? <laughs> Добре. All right. So far, so good. We're taking one challenge at a time. One of the best advice I've heard. Try to not multitask, but try one task at a time. Якби я писав так усі свої емейли, а не думав про багато речей одночасно, мабуть, було б також краще. Але мені, воно вже мені, в мене на автоматі, тому я пуляю декілька одразу. Окей, okay, the next scenario. We are a cyber sport media agency that runs a blog. Uh, ми, 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 ми представництво однієї компанії, яка працює у киберспорті. Ми медійна агенція, типу новостний портал, СМІ. Um, we met with a uh, big, big company uh, in a representative uh, in our, in our um, niche. Ми зустрілися а, на конференції. We met with the big company represent, representative uh, at the conference. Ми зустрілися, ми були на конференції. Це також реальний кейс однієї з моїх студенток. Вона е, там, на посаді одній в компанії в киберспорті. І вона була на веб-саміті у Португалії. She attended a web summit in Portugal, you know, that took place in November. And she needed to connect, you know, with various uh, kind of PR agencies, media agencies, and she was also looking for investors. And we were shaping up her investment pitch. Ми для неї писали її investment pitch, проговорювали різні сценарії. Так, and this is actually also one of the real cases. So she met with a, with a potential um, media partner representative at the conference. And they exchanged business cards and uh, they had a pre-agreement that they w- would work together. And we need to write a follow-up email in continuation, you know, in the aftermath of the conference. Нам потрібно написати email uh, після ось uh, завершення конференції. Okay? Mm. У людей такі класні кейси взагалі, що я, я іноді, коли допомагаю, мені, я думаю, як, я, як, я, як у мене все скучно. All right. So, um, we know that the name of the person is 
Stefan, Stefan, he's from, he's from Netherlands, for example. Say, uh, dear Stefan, dear Stefan. Um, or, or let, let, let's do Stephanie. That will be a girl that who, who, who we met and who we made this preliminary agreement with. Okay, so she, she's, a, her name is Stephanie. Dear Stephanie, um, this is, this is, um, Oksana, Oksana from GameFight.ua, for example, from GameFight, this is the name of our media portal, right? GameFight, from Ga GameFight, uh, we, we have met, have met, or we met, we just, you can say we met in the past. We met at the conference. We met at the, at the web summit, web summit. But since the ch chances are that Stephanie uh, met with uh, so many different people, we need to narrow her search down, narrow her uh, kind of down to uh, like who, we're, who we are so that she could remember us. Um, we, we, we met at the web summit. I was the one, I was the one. Тут ми нагадаємо, хто ми, хто ми взагалі такі. Ну, я б, я, я, я б зробив так. Ну, це, це має, має 100% значення. Hey, how are you? Uh, ми тут пишемо емейли, we are writing emails depending on different real business scenarios. And if you have a business scenario in mind, if you have some case in mind that you would like to share, you can uh, write it to me uh, later in, after we finish this one, okay? And we will try to compose an efficient email for you, okay? Um, so this is Xana from uh, Game Fight. Uh, we met at the, at the web summit. I was the one, I was the one who, uh, I don't know, something distinct that, that, that will give a distinct memory about you. And this is tricky, however, because if you if you just spoke, you you might you might be okay with just naming your company because she would go through all the business cards or go go through her contact list to pull you up. But if you did something memorable, like for example. You are from Ukraine, for God's sake, you know, and there are not so many companies from Ukraine. So this is exactly what we're going to say, because being Ukrainian right now is not only um, a massive, massive kind of brand, right? It's uh, also something that people will remember, right? It's, it's kind of distinct, ident identi identifying sort of... Uh, Thing. I was the one, I was, uh, uh, um, not the one, but um, Oksana from, we met at the summer, I am, I am, I am the one, the one who, who runs, runs Ukrainian agency inside uh, uh, Ukrainian agency cyber sport agency okay I'm the one who runs Ukrainian cyber sport cyber sport agency and this is really important because you want to you want to establish yourself early you want to establish yourself from the very beginning, from the early go going. You want to let, you want to remind her that you are a business owner or you uphold a pretty high senior level position, right? And by saying that, that you run a, an entire agency, 
you know, who knows? It could be an additional factor why she would she will reply to you before she does to all the other people. So I think that that could be par partially the reason, you know. So I would I would say it like this. So I'm the one who runs Ukrainian Cyber Sport Agency. We had we had a preliminary Slova preliminary preliminary popereднє preliminary popереднє попередній договір. Um, hey, hey, hey! I'm also here. I'm also in Kiev. So <laughs> uh, we had a preliminary agreement. Agreement to to cooperate. У нас ми прийняли попередні, у нас у нас була попередня домовленість про співпрацю to cooperate in the um, in the media media um, in the media and social media and SMM so correct in the media and uh, in SMM domains. Domains означає типу поле, у я, у чому, як у яко, у якому напрямку ми з вами домовилися співпрацювати. Uh, domains or field field or areas. Так? Areas. Right? So, dear Stephanie, this is Oksana from Game Fight. We met at the Web Summit. I'm the one who runs some Ukrainian cyber sport agency. We had a preliminary agreement, or we, not only we had, but we, um, we made, made. Типу, ми заключили. Попередня домовленість, розумієте? Не просто у нас була. We made, but we, we had also works. Don't uh, overthink it too much. Sometimes the easier it is, the better, right? And this is one of my philosophies to simplify your language the best you, you can. But, але зараз я бачу, як багато українців хочуть все-таки писати красиво, красномовно, у діловому етикеті, і саме це я даю, тому що рин, ринок це просить. Ось вам, друзі, все, що маю, віддаю. We had, we made a preliminary agreement to cooperate in the media and SMM domains um, with your website, or with your, with your... І тут можна дати комплімент. Uh, не просто з вашою компанією, а, а то напишемо з вашою шановною компанією. Uh, є дуже класне слово esteemed with your esteemed esteemed company. <laughs> а можна можна or we can say amazing. If we want to butter them up, if we want to um you know, just uh, compliment them in, in a real way. Yeah, amazing company. Which is, uh, it, which is totally fine. Uh, this, which is totally fine. I would, I would do it nine times out of 10. If you have, ha have had a new customer and you're writing an email, I will do it. I would, I would give a compliment nine times out of 10. So it's a no-brainer to me that, you know, you, you want to let them know that you admire their company. Especially if that's true, you know? Especially if that's, that's, that's some kind of a great company that you've been looking up to and you really want to do business with them. Why don't you give them a compliment for God's sake? It's always nice to hear nice words about you, right? <laughs> So, this is Oksana from Game, Game Fight. We met at the Web Summit. I'm the one who runs Ukrainian Cyber Sport Agency. We had a preliminary, or we made a preliminary agreement to cooperate in the... До речі, preliminary також можемо... Таке слово є tentative. 
tentative, 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 tentative також воно означає, типу, попереднє, попередня, попередня домовленість. A tentative agreement to cooperate in the media and SMM domains with your esteemed or with your amazing company. Uh, let, um, Italy, and in the end, we want to give a call to action. We want them to want, want to throw the ball in their court, right? Because right now the ball is in our court. Це дуже бізнесовий лексикон, який корнями йде до спорту. Типа, на чиїй стороні зараз м'яч? Зараз м'яч на нашій стороні. But when we send it over to her, like in tennis, right? We want to send the ball, throw the ball into her court. So that's her time to act, right? So we want to say, uh, your company, um, I'm attaching our, I am attaching, attaching our media deck, media, media deck, media deck, це типу, ну, Перечень портфоліо того, як можна з вами співпрацювати у, з точки зору медійки. Розумієте? So I'm sending your media deck. Deck in general is uh, a document, a document that, uh, that enlists like your offer, right? So media deck, artists have a deck, DJs have an, a deck. So invest, uh, when we were pitching our startup to env- investors, we were, do, we were giving, a, we were writing, a, we would write an uh, investment deck. So deck – це така, як типу папочка чи перчень у, у всього найм'яснішого, такого, що ви можете запропонувати, right? Um, media deck. I'm attaching our media deck for you, for you, for you to... Get familiarized with, for you to get familiar, familiarized, rised with. Please let me know. Please let me know. Me know if anything picks your interest. Please let me know. Please let me know if. Any of the any of the offers, the offers pick your interest. Це, це також фраза така um, ідіоматична. Pick your and pick uh, picks your interest. Цепляє вашу увагу. Ось. Um. Ну і, і в кінці ви можете використовувати якісь просто там sincerely or um, best regards or uh, uh, best wishes from Ukraine or something like that, right? Ось таке у нас буде письмо. Yeah, it's quite good. It's quite good. Непогано. Мені, мені подобається. Вам подобається? Якщо подобається, ставте лайк. <laughs> Guys, now, now your turn. It's your turn. Give me some scenario. Give me an, some, some case. Maybe from your real business experience, from your real work experience, where you had to communicate something, where you had to ask for something or inform about something or announce something or sell something if you have a case that you can uh, share details of write it right now in comments and let's compose a beautiful email in accordance with your details Ще раз на українській скажу, друзі, якщо у вашій кар'єрі був кейс, якому вам потрібно було написати класне, дуже описуюче професійне письмо, дайте мені зараз а, деталі того сценарію, і ми зараз з вами напишемо таке письмо. Give me, give me some details of, of, of a... Maybe you can come up. Можете придумати. 
Треба сказати, хто ми, хто ми, який ми бізнес, що ми презентуємо, кому пишемо, що за людина і яка проблема, що ми вирішуємо. Давайте, нас щось придумайте чи дайте якийсь реаль, реальний кейс. Thank you guys for joining. Uh, if if I if I forgot to mention that I truly appreciate all of you guys. It's not easy to to grow your audience on live streams here on TikTok, but yeah, I think if I do it constantly, I'll get to the promised land. Знаєте це слово? Promised land. Promised land. У американському жаргоні означає Якась точка, до якої ви хочете дістатися. A promise land. Right? Hi, Mila, how are you? So, yeah, basically, I think that if I do these streams every single day, it will take me to the promised land. I just don't know how long do I have to make these streams. I hope that not more than one month. I think that in a month I will have some decent results. But nonetheless, yeah, I'm having fun in the moment. Друзі, ніякої, ніякої, ніякого кейсу немає у вас поділитися зі мною? Якщо немає, будемо зворочуватися. It's a difficult subject today. I do realize that. Yeah, but no one said that everything will be easy, right? Мука муче мука учения временно, мука незнания вечно. Это один из постулатов Гарварда. Когда заходишь в Гарвард, у них это написано. I never been to Harvard, Harvard. I never been to the United States, but I know that this is one of their laws. The suffering from not knowing something is is temporary. The suffering of ignorance or, or uh, is is perpetual. Hey guys. All right. So if if nothing else is coming, if you are not giving me any scenarios, I will wrap it up. Thank you all for coming. It's been a, it's been fun and entertaining as as always and I hope that uh, yeah that next time you you will maybe send me some kind of your ideas. Bye guys. Have a good good one. Good one. Bye.